So here I am back with this Royal Enfield 500 bullet engine that's in kit form once again and we found that the uh, the big end needs replacing but also a surprise was, an unexpected surprise was that the um, there was a piston gudgeon pin circlip absent from the piston when I lifted the barrel and I later on found it down in the bottom of the crankcase in spite of my having fitted it carefully and correctly when I put the engine back together previously and uh, I've looked through photographs that I've got on my computer and uh, I'm hoping to share some of those um, shortly and we can have a look and the offending circlip was on the timing side of the of the engine and I've got a clear photograph of the timing side of the engine before I refitted the cylinder barrel showing the piston with the piston ring compressor on it and everything and you can clearly see that the circlip is definitely and correctly in place and located properly um, but nevertheless somehow it ended up in the bottom of the crankcase and there was a big gouge in the cylinder bore where I had thought that the uh, gudgeon pin had rubbed against it and caused a channel of wear but looking at things again I think I've got well at least some sort of explanation so if we go out here into the daylight where we might see it a little bit better there's the cylinder barrel and hopefully we might see the wear in the cylinder bore there the gouging let's see if I close off a bit of the light a bit perhaps we'll see it better there we are you can see that channel now I've already made a video about this and some people have commented that that gouge or wear doesn't look like that that you'd expect from a gudgeon pin and I had previously suspected or thought that this circlet had been in the bottom of the engine and got worn and polished by the flywheels rubbing on it as they went round over it but looking at it now I think that circlet was in place and somehow for whatever reason something has driven it out of place it's actually popped out and these circlips really are quite a firm fit in their locating grooves in the pistons and I remember you know it was quite a job to get it to click in and then you see the ears the sort of gap between the ears open up again you've got to close them till they're almost touching each other in order to get them in and then when they're located in the, the groove they open it up again more or less like that with a, quite a gap between them but this wear actually does seem to correspond with the possibility that this circlip was rubbing up and down against the cylinder bore having not gone past the piston but just been pushed against the bore and causing the wear and not being there for long enough to wear a groove deep enough where it might try and get past the piston therefore the piston is unmarked as we'll see and confirm again shortly I think that perhaps that circlip hasn't got into the bottom of the crankcase until I've lifted the cylinder barrel clear and as I pulled the cylinder barrel up the displaced circlip has dropped in and then I've later on found it down there and if we have a look at the piston once again we've got it here And we can see, I think this was the side that the circlip had come out. Not a mark on the piston. Um, and there wouldn't be if the gudgeon pin uh, circlip was still in the gudgeon pin hole, but out of its groove and just sort of being pushed against the cylinder bore by the gudgeon pin and causing the wear but it was still actually in its hole rather than having forced an escape past the piston which would have caused all sorts of markings and damage to the piston so for whatever reason I think that circlet has dislocated and found this way out and been working its way out and rubbing against the bore and causing that wear so uh, why it would do that 
when I can prove it was definitely fitted correctly, I really don't know. But that's something that's going to need looking at very, very carefully because uh, there must have been some very strong sideways forces on that gudgeon pin to force the circlip out and cause it to do that, which is a bit of a concern and the first time I've ever seen it. But I'm going to link this video up with some video footage of some pictures that I've got that will show, or hopefully show, the circlip correctly fitted and definitely in its groove. And like I say, I don't really know why it might have suddenly decided to come out at some point, but I've got a strong feeling that it did. I don't know how well this will show up, but these are photographs from um, when I rebuilt that Royal Enfield 500 engine whose uh, circlet mysteriously appeared in the crankcase. And um, if we take a look, let's see where we're at here. I've got a picture of it going back together, so there's the piston. Ah, here we are. That picture there. Number 869. Now that will look a little bit blurry at the moment probably, but uh, let's we'll see about that in a moment. Now that is a photograph of the piston fitted with the rings and everything and the uh, circle in, pis in position and the piston ring compressor on it and spanner laid flat underneath the piston ready for fit in the cylinder barrel. So that one, like I say, is 3869. Now if we have a look here, there it is, enlarged, 3869, hopefully there we can see the circlet fitted in its groove in the piston with the ears, the gap between the ears large enough for me to see that that is clicked in position in its locating groove in the piston against the gudgeon pin but that is on the timing side of the engine and that is the side that ended up with the circlet missing apparently and a wear big channel of wear down the bore and this all seems to sort of tie in with my theory that the piston the piston circlet was there but for whatever reason it's been forced out and it must have been forced out because you can see there that it's correctly located it's been forced out by the gudgeon pin right to the extremity of the uh, side of the piston skirt where it's been forced to rub up and down against the cylinder bore causing that wear channel we've seen and the wear on the ears of the circlip itself but it hasn't actually dropped into the crankcase until I lifted the cylinder barrel when I stripped it down this most recent time um, when the engine was brought back because of knocking noises um, and we've seen that the big end obviously needs to be sorted out on it but on top of that the cylinder bore is damaged and the uh, circlip was making me scratch my head a little uh, when I found it in the bottom of the crankcase but this is the best explanation I can offer is that for whatever reason something has displaced that forced it out even though it was in the groove and has forced it to press against the side of the cylinder bore and wear that channel so um, I'm even going to pay close attention to the conrod and make sure that that's not bent or anything to one side or the other I doubt whether it would have been because the engine appeared to be turning quite freely but just in case something seems to have caused that uh, gudgeon pin to force itself against the circlip hard enough to dislocate it from its groove and force it against the cylinder ball so uh, that I think is the best explanation I can offer and uh, possibly quite feasible too I hope